Ah. Sorry. Yeah, I've, I've had like a, I've had like some weird cough lately. It's been going on for like uh, three weeks, maybe a little more, maybe like a month. I don't know, but I've had like some kind of cough lately. So if I'm coughing <clears throat> like that, if I'm coughing all throughout this video, I apologize. I'm. It's not intentional. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so what I'm talking about today <coughs> is an art movement that I've been interested in lately, um, abstract expressionism. It's weird because I feel like the more research I do about these artists, the more I understand where they came from, you know, where maybe where they studied, what their work looked like before, it went all, you know, abstract and stuff, the more I can appreciate them. Like Willem de Kooning, I originally thought he was like, he was like a shit, like he was like a shit artist. Like, he didn't know what he was doing. But then I looked, and <clears throat> I saw his work when he was, like, 13 or something. Like, in one of his still lifes. And it's actually really good. And I feel like with that, it, maybe it freed him up. Well, that was weird. It made him... What's the word? What's the word? Um, It made it easier to do the abstract stuff. I don't know. I don't know. But what I'm trying to get at is... <clears throat> is that the more that I learn about these artists and what they could do versus what they did do, then the more I more I'm able to appreciate them. Because I feel like um, if like for example, if you know how to draw very well, like if you're a good draftsman, but you choose not to um, you know paint realistically, and you maybe choose to paint you know abstract pieces, figurative pieces, <clears throat> you know that's that's cool. You know, because I feel like you're more credible if you know how to draw. I'm Well, I guess I'm not saying that you have to know how to draw to be a credible artist, but it makes you a bit more credible if you can draw. I'm not saying you have to be a realistic artist, but I'm just saying, you know, that's just how I feel, you know, because I like, you know, <clears throat> you know, good draftsmen. That's just, you know, that's just how I am. But Willem de Kooning's not one of the artists that I've really been, you know, digging lately. One of the artists that I've been really um, digging lately is Franz Klein. He was also in the Abstract Expressionist movement. The thing with him is that also I didn't, because um, his paintings, they're mainly known for their black and white. Um, like, it's very gesture. Like, bleh. It's, it's like a lot of gestures and stuff. Um, what I found out about him was that... Um, he actually, um, he did, like, figurative art before, like, portraits, I think. Yeah, like, portraits and <clears throat> landscapes and stuff. And I find that really cool because, once again, I feel like that also freed him up. That could, that might have freed him up to do what he did. And not only with the black and white paintings and stuff. And not only that, um, <clears throat> I also researched that... Work like that, like Chief and stuff, was based off of abstract drawings, which is pretty cool because when I think of an artist who draws, I think of um, like an architect, you know, a thinker, a person who thinks things through, you know, and an engineer of sorts, you know. That's what I think about whenever I, you know, see an artist, you know, who, an artist who plans his sketch, who plans his paintings and art and things like that <clears throat> so yeah that's my that's my deal with abstract expressionism lately um what else what else is going on in my life uh i'm thinking about which college i'm going to in the fall i'm choosing between salem state and umass lowell those are the two schools that i'm choosing from um, I saw UMass Lowell, I went to their accepted student states, it's pretty good, I was blown away by their art department, you know, giant easels, wait, no, um, giant canvases, easels, <coughs> paints, you know, it's messy, you know, but it's cool, I was blown away, you know, I could totally see myself there, totally see myself working there, I like it, I dig it. Um, I haven't seen Salem State. Well, I have, but I haven't been to their accepted students. I'm going there this Saturday. 
<clears throat> I'm making this, and then I'm gonna make a decision really, really soon, because the decision date, like the college deadline, is May first, and that's coming up pretty soon. Also, another thing that happened is that I'm now 18. That's pretty cool. I've been my birthday was three days ago, April 12th. It's April 15th. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm 18 now. I'm digging that. It's, it's pretty crazy that I'm 18. I don't know why I find that crazy. I just I just do. It's pretty nuts. Pretty mind-blowing. Um, what else? Um, regarding my paint... Regarding my, um, drawing... Well, regarding drawing, I think it's mainly been, like, once again, like, figurative sketches of... <clears throat> like landscapes and stuff and actually after this I think I may start on a new painting um yeah I, I recently bought some canvas panels like three 11 by 14 canvas panels and I bought some new acrylics which I'm pretty pumped about um yeah because I was short on some primary colors I was short on primary I have primary blue and I had to buy primary, why well, I got, I have all the primary colors, not primary red, primary blue, primary yellow. I also bought this purple, this one really dark shade of purple that I like. <clears throat> um, what else did I get recently? Uh, I don't know, I don't know what I got besides that, besides the canvas panels and the acrylics, I don't think I really got anything too recently I'm gonna start yeah I'm gonna start on a new painting really soon it's gonna it's a landscape when I did one of the sketches I drew it in a portrait view and said the landscape view so I think I'm just gonna you know position my canvas panel in the um portrait view like you know like that instead of like that if it's like that you know that's like portrait I'm damn it that, like, okay, so it's like, that's landscape, that's portrait. I'm gonna do it like that for, um, the portrait view, because of the way I did one of the sketches. I did two sketches. The first one was with pastels, and that was in landscape view. And the second one I did was in pencil, and that was a portrait view. I added a bit more details to it. I really want to try and push the perspective with this piece. You know, I feel, feel like I'm going for a Van Gogh feel. I've been on a Van Gogh. You know, I've been digging Van Gogh lately, too. So, I hope to get started on that really soon. And make a college decision soon. And do a lot of other cool things. And regarding my band, um, I think we're, we're almost done recording. I think I said that in another video, but yeah, we're almost done. <clears throat> we have a new bassist now. His name is Oshin. So that's pretty cool. We're, we're, we're just working on covers for right now. We're working on Change by Deftones, Go It Alone by Beck, Wolf of the Door by Radiohead, Scream Out by The Unseen, and Drawing Rings Around the World by Super Furry Animals. So, yeah, in general, aside from my cough, I've been pretty good. I've been... I've been surviving. I'm, pre I'm pretty pumped. Pumped for the future and stuff. So yeah. Alright. Well. Peace guys. Thanks for watching. Till next time. I'm Silhouette Judas. Bye.